In this video, I'm going to be showing you this blocks for GUI with auto farms, dragon fruit sniper, teleports, player targeter, and more. Enjoy. All right, guys. So once you're in the first link in the description, you should see this page. And this is where you're going to get your hack for blocks fruit. And what you're going to want to do is click on the gray button that says get script hack. So click on it. It's going to open an ad that looks a little like this. So just X out. And once you guys have X'd out of it, click on it a second time and then X out of it again. So once you've X'd out twice for the third time, it's going to bring you to this page. Then you're going to want to copy it, just control A and load into your game. All right, guys, so once you're loading into your game, you're going to want to take care of your executor, as you can see right there. Today, I'm going to be using Synapse. Synapse does cost $20, but you guys can get a chance to get it for free. And all you need to do is leave a like on the video. Make sure to be subscribed down below and comment down your favorite moment from the video until we hit the subscriber goal. And once we hit that, we're going to be doing a 16 key Synapse Act giveaway. But anyways, let's attach Synapse. And remember guys, if you don't have an executor right now, you can test out an executor like Gizmo in the last link in the description, which is a completely free keyless executor. But anyways, execute the script. And once you've executed it, you should see this me hub in the middle of your screen, which means it's not loading up. And uh, there you go. You have a few sections. So you got in the auto farm section, as you can see, a auto stat section, as you can see, a teleports, ESPs, combats, and lastly, some game settings. All right, so let's start off with the auto farms. So it's select what weapon you're gonna use. I only have my fist, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then you can choose how distant you want the NPC to be. And if you wanna do it in new world, auto hacky, auto mobs, and some setting options. The default settings do work pretty well, but let's just toggle it on and give it a second. And as you can see, we start auto farming like this bandit person here. And we do not get hit because we'll probably die fast if we do. So all it does is it kills these guys, does the missions, gets the money, and you guys can show like the range. So this is like the hitbox, as you guys can see, like how far away I can hit him from this giant box. I can hit him from that far away. And you can change the color of that or the size. But anyways, you also have a custom health percentage. So you guys can change that if you want. Let me actually turn off this auto farm. Oh yeah. And also while you're auto farm, you actually get God mode. So you can't die. My health is zero and I'm still not dead. All right though, but let's move on to the next section, which is going to be the auto stats. So right now I have 15 points to the sign and whatever build you guys are going for, you can choose what you want to select. So let's do, I want melee and, and I can also like turn on defense and melee. And every time I get points, it's going to give points to both of those sections. Or, you know, you could do like sword or gun or like whatever config you guys want, you will select and it'll auto give points. You guys also have a teleport section and here what you can do is teleport <laughs> pretty clearly. Okay. So you have a long list of a bunch of different teleports everywhere you could ever want. So you can go like to the quest bandit guy. You can go like to the windmill. You can go to the middle town, the desert, the underwater city, the pirate village, the sky islands, the magma farm. I think it's called the prison. Okay, I don't want to fight there, but anyways, you guys can teleport to any of those places by just clicking on them. You do have to have like the place unlocked so you can actually stay there. But if you guys do have it unlocked, you should be able to teleport straight away and stay there. So that's pretty sick, but let's move on to the ESPs. And this is definitely helpful if you guys are going to PVP people. If, if that's your style, then this is going to be very useful. All right, so you first have your ESP for fruit. So if you look around, you see there's a flame fruit over there and that looks like there's that's all you can also see all flowers on the map and it looks like there's none. So yeah, there is no no flowers on the map that we can see right now. You can also see name ESP so we can see everybody's name. So there's a person over there. There's like three people over there. There's somebody like in the sky. Okay. <laughs> and there's also some people in that town. So you guys can see where everybody in the game is. If you don't want name ESP, you can also use tracers. So first off, you're going to want to turn on enabled and then you can turn on the tracers. So now you see where they are. You see like their little character. Even if I zoom in, you guys probably won't be able to see much because they're so far away, but they have a little box around them. 
and also you got distance so you can see how far away they are so that person is 2,000 studs away and that guy is 7,000 that's pretty far and you can turn them on or off turn on features on or off and it's pretty cool and now you can also only turn on boxes really whatever you guys prefer but if I was you I'll just turn on name ESP and now you know let's move on to the combat section though so right here you guys can farm players so you can select what person so we can do like this tomcat guy and once we've selected him we can you know teleport to him right here so oh what is he doing is he fighting okay I don't, I don't know but anyways you can teleport to him you can change his hitbox like the npc so you guys see this red box that's how big his hitbox is and this guy's pro oh, is he shooting at me uh, I don't know. I have God mode on, so it doesn't really matter. But, oh, okay, he's swimming around. He's swimming. Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, you can see him, and you can change how distant you are and how big the hitbox is or small. But what you can do now is start hitting him, you know? You can equip your tool. Okay, I thought it just broke, but he literally just left the game. <laughs> let's go to Mega Ruby over here. Let's teleport. Let's turn on the hitbox, and let's whack at them. Okay, uh... Now, obviously, I won't do much damage, and if anything, I'm just hitting NPCs because I can't really do damage to them. Uh, one, it's a safe zone, and also, like, I do no damage, you know? So I probably won't do anything to him, but if you guys have, like, better weapons, you can actually maybe do some damage and kill players. So that's pretty cool, and you can also, like, go to your friends and, like, troll them by <laughs> just spawn killing them or something a few times. Just a few times, not too many times, but... That's a pretty cool feature, and that guy was really confused because he just left. But is this is this him? Like I was saying, let's move on to the next feature, which is the game. So here, what you guys can do is buy a certain weapon. So let's say we want to buy the Fisherman Katana. Okay, we can click on buy, and if we had enough money, it would buy it right now. Okay, so that's what that is. It just buys stuff from the shops straight from the GUI, so you don't actually have to go to the shops. You can also change race right here, so you can become a sci- Okay, I don't know how to say that. Skyfian? Okay, I don't know. A mink or a human. Let's go human, there you go. I think we are human anyway. You can also auto buy fruits, so that's a pretty cool feature. You can select what fruit you want, so we can do like the stink- st Is that stink st strings? Sting string? Okay. So we can turn on the fruit sniper and whenever a sting string, I think I said that right, but whenever a sting string is on the map, it's going to teleport it and grab it. But anyways, you guys can also use control click teleport and once you turn that on, what you do is hold control and after you do that, you can click and teleport to wherever you want. So let's say we want to go to like that roof of that windmill, we click control and we click. And just like that, we've teleported to the top. We want to go to the edge right here. We click, we teleport. Over there, click, teleport. Control, click, teleport. We want to go to the ocean. Control, click, teleport. Okay, that doesn't work. All right, that worked. Okay. But you cannot do it too far away. Like, for example, if you want to go over there. So you guys have to be somewhat close. But if you, do, if you are somewhat close, then you can completely teleport easily with no issues, as you can tell. Uh, so... I definitely recommend that because it's a pretty easy way to get around. You also have no dodge cooldown. So, you know, when you guys are dodging, it has a cooldown, but you guys can remove that. So that's a pretty cool feature. Some of the last features are you have stat refunds, race reroll. You can buy 500 fragments and 1,500. This is just like a kind of ease of life last section. So this will just make it easier to do some things that you can already do, but you can just do it more fast and easier from the GUI. And you also have inst infinite stamina, which I, I would hope that's pretty self-explanatory. But if you look on the bottom left, you can see my stamina is infinite. And that's what that is. Lastly, you have respawn, pretty self-explanatory. And lastly, rejoin server. Anyways though, hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, Make sure to subscribe down below because we are trying to hit 150k. And once we hit that, we're going to be doing the 16 key Synapse X giveaway. Thank you to my members right here. Your support is appreciated, guys. Thank you for joining the channel, helping me do these Synapse giveaways, and supporting this channel overall. If you're still watching, then thank you for watching until the end. Not many people do that, so you are a dedicated fan. Make sure to let me know down in the comments if you watched until the end. And I'll hopefully catch you in Friday's video.
See you guys. Thank you.